Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from sysadmin102. In uh, today's video, I will talk about the security hardening for Opsin and this is going to be the episode 1 of the series. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, security hardening for Opsin, make sure that you uh, subscribe to my channel for uh, the next upcoming uh, episode. I break it down to the multiple episodes because I don't want to make it a long video. Uh, people will tend to lose interest if it's a long video. So in this one, I will discuss about the importance of managing your administrator access for Opsin and all the security uh, best practice to protect your system. And with that, let's get started. So the most important thing to keep any system secure is to keep it all the way up to date. And then uh, as always, change the default password. Uh, a recent study conducted by uh, Compare Tech have revealed that uh, approximately 1 in 16 home Wi-Fi router connected to the internet can be remotely accessed by the attacker using the default administrator password. So it's important that you change the default password. However, I'm not going to go into a detail. Uh, I already provided you with the uh, Opsin uh, security hardening uh, practice guide from uh, Zenormor is uh, really detailed and these are the like baseline for how you uh, can um, better secure your uh, Opsin. They also included the instruction on how to change the default password so I'm not going to go over that. What I'm going to go over with you is how to manage your administrator access uh, by creating a non-root administrator account and disable the root users. Uh, it always best practice to not uh, perform every day-to-day -day task on the firewall router or any router uh, using the root access. You can use the admin access to perform all the functions and if you need the root access you can use the sudo command to uh, escalate the privilege and we're gonna head over to the options and from there you would navigate it to uh, system and you would nav navigate it to access and users and you can add a new user and we're going to call it uh, sysadmin102 all right and it's best recommended that you use a strong password uh, of course strong password is difficult to remember so i recommend that you use a password manager you can use uh, the offline password manager such such as a uh, key pass uh, it's open source and it's available on all uh, almost like all platform i believe uh, however, if you want to use um, the online password, which it uh, provides really flexible for like how you can send the password over the internet, uh, of course, encrypted. Uh, in this case, I'm using uh, one password, but I also recommend it uh, Bitwarden. Uh, as you see the purple icon right here it, uh, for Proton, which uh, the developer of the most secure uh, email client. Uh, all service provider however they kind of new in this uh, area so i'm not really recommended them yet but i do believe that in future proton uh, when they more mature uh, i can add it to the recommendation list and i'm gonna generate the password for the user and this way you don't have to remember the password because obviously you don't perform the administrative function every day and you might forgot the password And I'm gonna create a new user. All right. And then you, these are optional. You don't have to fill it out the whole thing. But I'm gonna call it sysadmin102 admin user. There we go. And then for the login uh, shell, uh, if no login shell, they're not gonna able to establish SSH connections. So for this one, I'm gonna assign uh, bin and uh, SSH. That the default SH shell. However, you can use CSH or TCSH. To know the difference, you can obviously Google it. 
and then obviously we're going to add it to the admin group and for the OTPC this is for if you set up the two-factor authentication TOTP servers authorized key this is uh, the key that we generate uh, to um, establish a secure added edge connection without providing the actual uh, user password so I'm going to go uh, over this in another episode of the security hardening so if you are interested in that make sure to subscribe to the channel and with that we're going to select set, set and go back and as you see it's a red icon with me the system administrator alright and now we're going to log out of the root user and we're going to log back in with the sysadmin102 alright and we're going to go back to uh, system access and users again and we will select edit on the root user and from here we can disable the root user and alright we're going to save it and go back and that's how you create a system administrator account and disable the root user. Next, we're going to go over the two-factor authentication time-based one-time password or TOTP servers. Uh, this tutorial, I already covered it under one of my uh, video. So I'll be including the link to the Rinten tutorial and as well as the video. And uh, again, for the next video, I will covering the edit edge access and security hardening. So if you're interested in this, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Again, if you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.